Hello students, welcome and thank you for selecting this next career day interview. I am very excited to be conducting this interview with the help of high school student Olivia Russo and uh, we are very excited today to conduct a career day interview with one of GCS's finest teachers, Kelsey Davidson. So Kelsey, if you could just um, introduce yourself a little bit and let us know what your career is and the steps that you had to take to get to where you are today. Alrighty. Um, my name is Kelsey Davidson. I am 25 years old and I am a fifth grade English teacher and social studies teacher here at Scott and Ellis. Um, to get to my career, oh boy, um, there's actually lots of steps that you have to go through. So luckily for me, I always knew what I wanted to do. Um, I've known since I was a kid that being a teacher is something that just warmed my heart. Um, I had a great connection with all of my teachers when I was in elementary school, so I knew that it's something that I wanted to pursue. Um, so when I was in high school, I actually was a part of a um, program where I could go from high school every day to our elementary school for two hours. So I did that my junior and my senior year through a child development program. Um, so instead of doing late arrival, I ended up going to the elementary school instead. Um, my first year I taught second grade and then my second year I taught fourth grade. So I was able to get that experience from both of those um, and kind of bring that forward. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was, that was um, great for me because I was able to get that experience prior to um, going off to college. From there, I decided that I was going to attend a two-year school, so I went to Schenectady County Community College for two years, um, a part of their teacher transfer program, because I knew that I wanted to be a teacher, but I also wanted to save money, so I knew that this was a great way for me to do that. And then after that, um, I received my associate's degree from the uh, SUNY SEC, and then I transferred to the College of St. Rose for my bachelor's degree. Um, I enrolled in the childhood education program, grades one through six. Um, I did a lot of field work uh, throughout Albany, which was awesome because I got to see a different kind of dynamic than what I went to school with. Um, and it gave me a lot of experience while I was there. Um, I also did my student teaching in Albany where I taught first grade and sixth grade. Um, and then I went on to do my master's degree also at the College of St. Rose in literacy. Um, before I started my master's, I actually got hired here at Scott & Mellis um, four years ago now. So I originally took on a maternity leave that ended up turning into a permanent stay. Um, so it was the greatest thing that I could have asked for. Okay, uh, walk us through a typical day in your work field. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so this year it's very different than a typical year. So I'll kind of give you a rundown of what this year is like and what's a little bit different. Um, so typically the students come in around 7.50. Um, my kids always get started on morning work of some kind. So they either practice grammar or typing. Sometimes they read articles like newspaper articles and things for current events. Um, sometimes they do math practice. So it depends on the day. Um, then my kids automatically go off to PE. One thing that's a little bit different this year is we have to wash our hands as soon as we get to school. So that takes up a little bit of time. Um, and then we also have to wash after we get back from PE. Um, then after that, I typically have two sections of ELA. So I'll teach my students first um, ELA, which we always start off with a grammar lesson of some kind, and then I do reader's workshop. Um, there's many different units in reader's workshop for fifth grade, so we alternate between reading and writing. Um, then after that, I usually teach social studies on a normal kind of year. Um, this year, we have to be very flexible with what we're doing. Um, so sometimes that's filled with writing, sometimes it's filled with extra typing practice, or sometimes Mr. Hostash, who is a teacher that I work very closely with, um, has some math activities for the kids to do. Um, so then after that, we typically have lunch and recess because fifth grade has lunch and recess super early. Um, then we come back from lunch and recess and I'll teach my second section of students. So Mr. Hostash and I share, so we'll flip kids. Um, this year we're not flipping class, or students aren't changing classrooms, we're changing sections. Um, and I'm actually teaching in the library this year, so it makes it a little bit different. Um, 
And then again, I would do social studies in the afternoon, typically with Mr. Hostash's kids at that time. Um, and then we'd switch back and my students would get extra support in reading, writing, math, any of the things that they may need. Um, and then we go home. So it's a, it's a fast paced, fun filled day. <laughs> I was gonna say you're, the way that you describe it, it is go go go. Um, oh yeah, and, no downtime. <laughs> and you're really perfect for that. And and you always have a smile on your face. And and I think I Thank assume you. that you love your job. It sounds like you've always wanted to have this job. Yes. And I'm wondering if you could share with us what do you love most about your job? Oh my gosh, um, I don't know if there's one specific thing, but the one thing that gets me going every time is when a student has that aha moment. Like when something hasn't connected for them for years and then all of a sudden they're like, Miss Davidson, that finally makes sense. Um, I think that's such a rewarding part of my job, knowing that I'm doing something to help make a difference in a student's life um, and that they're learning. You know, I, I just I think learning is the most important thing. And the fact that they're enjoying it and they're having a good time doing it um, just warms my heart. I think that's just the kids. They're just amazing. <laughs> Uh, what kind of skills are needed for this type of job? Like soft skills, like communication, problem solving, and teamwork, or like trainable skills? Like what kind of skills? Okay. Um, for soft skills, I would say communication is key. Um, you work with so many different people. I work with a team of fifth grade teachers, but then I also work very closely with one specific teacher. So we have to be on the same page at all times. We have to communicate. Um, and since we're dealing with, I have on a typical year, about 40 students. So we need to know, you know, what's happening among those students and across uh, different subject areas. So super important. Um, I also think that the biggest skill that you need is to be flexible. You have to be able to think on your feet, um, whether that's with your schedule, you know, making big changes to your schedule that day or just right in a lesson. Sometimes, you know, things don't go the way that you want them to. There's been many times where I'm like, well, this is not working out. Um, and right then and there, you have to be able to flip your your teaching and change your, uh, your thought process for something. Um, so I definitely think that being flexible and communication are, are key to a successful day. Thank you. Um, yeah. How about challenges? Um, what are some of the challenges that you face in your job as a teacher? Um, I think that some challenges that I face personally is making sure that I, I really like to make sure that I'm meeting all the needs of all of my students. And that's something that's really hard when you have 40 kids. Um, everybody learns different. Everybody teaches different. You know, the way that Mr. Hostash teaches compared to the way that I do. One way may work better for kids than the other way. So really being able to be flexible um, and change your thinking to reach every single student that you can to make sure that they're having a successful day and they're being successful in whatever they're learning. Um, that can be quite challenging at times. Yeah. Uh, what is your work environment like? Oh, it's fun. <laughs> it is bright, it's fun, um, very energetic. I mean, working with 10 year olds all day long, um, they just, they're, they go, 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 go. They keep you on your feet. Um, I mean, I love where I work. I love it. That's that's basically the only way that I can describe it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's it's full of energy in an elementary school. That's for sure. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, Kelsey, this next question for you um, can really be answered in a general sense. Understandably, there are a lot of differences when we're talking about careers and salary ranges. But um, could you explain for a teacher what salary ranges might look like and whether or not there are opportunities for advancement in either salary or position? Sure. Um, there's definitely advancement options. So, um, you know, I could start off as a teacher. I could go on to administration if I wanted to, superintendent if I really wanted to be ambitious. Um, so you can definitely move throughout that. I could also go off to um, do some other things, some extra credits and whatnot and become, um, you know, a college professor. So there's always room for improvement, always room for growth. Um, as far as salary goes, so we do work on a um, step column type um, salary pay scale. So depending on how many years you've had, plus how far you are in your schooling gives you um, how much you would make per year. So every year we do, you know, make a little bit more the longer that you've been here. Um, 
starting salary would be somewhere around $50,000, depending on what school district you're working in. Um, and then you get a raise every year after that. So you could end up making a pretty decent salary by the time that you retire. Uh, were there any classes you took in middle or high school that connect to your job now? Absolutely. So since I knew what I wanted to do, um, I definitely gravitated more towards the child development classes, um, English classes. I really loved English. So I tried to take as many of those. Public speaking was super important because you're public speaking all day long. Um, so I tried to gear my my schedule more towards those classes in middle and high school. Um, and then again, I was fortunate enough to have that program where instead of late arrival, I could use that time to go to the elementary school. And I did that for two years, which really just solidified the fact that I wanted to be a teacher and that this is what I wanted to do every day. And here you have stayed, right? I mean, those <laughs> of us who love school kind of stayed in school. Um, Absolutely. Ms. Davidson, I just want to thank you for your time today and answering our questions and providing the students at GCS an opportunity to understand what it might look like to be a teacher and the steps to get them there. And um, students, if you're watching this, of course, you have teachers all around you every day, but Ms. Davidson is right down the way. So if you had a question, I could certainly connect you. Um, absolutely. Yes, I also want to thank Ms. Russo for joining me and helping me to conduct this career day interview. I appreciate it. And I just thank you both for your time. Thank you. <laughs>